what were your initial impressions of the, of this game? Well, you know, the second quarter is where I think it, you know, got away from us a bit. You know, they got rolling um, and create a little separation. You know, the turnovers, especially in the first half, were a problem, but 12 turnovers for 19 points. We knew going in, you know, they're second in steals, um, you know, second in strips. They're going to turn teams over. We have to kind of avoid that trap. And uh, we didn't do a very good job, especially in that first half. Um, and paid the price for it. Um, you know, even late game, we had, I think we had three possessions down 10 or down 11 and just couldn't get over the hump. So just our late game execution, uh, a little disorganized at times, but uh, there were some positives. You know, I, I think there were some uh, some positives, uh, especially on the offensive end, you know, def defensively. And I know those those two are, are a handful, particularly Steph. Um, did a better job in that first half than the second, but uh, you know, once he gets going, it's it's really difficult to kind of cool him off. Were you pleased with what you saw from Porzingis tonight? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, he missed some shots early, um, and that's going to happen. But I think overall, it was a solid effort. You know, I think he, uh, you know, to, to have him play, you know, a slightly longer stretch, you know, each game I think is important uh, to, to have him, in, you know, in there late, but also to just continue to develop that chemistry. He can be out there with those guys and, and get a feel for where he likes to be and, and what kind of actions he, he wants to be involved in. What did you see in terms of the way Denny responded tonight to games for him that were not up to his own standards? He was a lot better. I think he was more relaxed. Um, I didn't think he was pressing or, you know, he, he shot an air ball and that happens, but he didn't let him, uh, didn't let it affect him. He came right back and, and kind of stayed the course, uh, which is a good sign. And just continue to play with confidence, you know, play your game and you'll be, you'll be all right. Kind of had a diversity of three point shooters tonight. What did you just see from the perimeter defense? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, Steph is 7 14. It's, it's a tough outing. Um, you know, Clay gets going a little bit, but, you know, going in, we knew they were going to make threes. Um, we wanted to take away the easy ones. You know, there's some guys who, you know, are capable three point shooters who made threes as well. I think mean, six or seven threes from their quote unquote non shooters, you know, but it's going to happen. And we have to do a better job of, you know, kind of shutting that valve off early. And not let him, you know, him get going. And that's easier said than done. I mean, he's obviously uh, you know, <laughs> one of the best players in the league and one of the best all-time offensive players um, to have ever played. So um, to do that is is a, is a tall task. But just being locked in and, and just take away all those easy looks, uh, I think that that would help. What do you guys make of the the four game stretch out west as a whole? Well, it was a disappointment. Uh, we knew coming out it was you know these were tough games. You know, I told our guys, you know, maybe, maybe it's a different different result if we played this hard the other night, bottom line. Yeah, and you can argue it's the second night of a back-to-back. -back, but, uh, you know, we didn't get the desired result, but I thought our overall effort and intent was much better. For the positives you saw on the offensive end, uh, did those positives come from KP and, and Denny? Was that what you're talking about, or what else did you see? Well, in, in general, I thought, you know, um, early on, you know, ball was moving. And I think we, we, we got some good looks. I liked our pace. Our attack after we got stops. Um, first half in particular, we were aggressive in the paint, which is you know always a strength of ours. Um, but you know I think overall it was a you know solid offensive outing. Uh, we just have to clean up the execution late and make sure we're uh, we're getting quality possessions in, in crunch time. Yeah, overall I am. I think it's. Uh, um, he's shooting with, with a lot of confidence. Um, and I've told him before, just, you know, be decisive. You know, the ball finds you in rhythm, shoot it. You know, if you're um, within the confines of our offense, you know, by all means. Um, and the, the biggest thing for him is to continue to make quick decisions. Uh, attack live ball closeouts, shoot it, or, or get off of it and find the next action. Uh, but I think he's done a terrific job with that. Uh, it puts a lot of time in it, and he's, you know, he's reaping the benefit. Chase. Hey, Wes. Uh, Three-point defense has been such a strength for you guys all year. What do you think has been different these last four or five games? Well, I think the, the, I'll say the last two in general, uh, but uh, a lot of the threes are coming off the bounce. 
uh, which is those are tough to guard. You know, you got unique guys shooting pull ups. Um, you know, that, that that's tough. Um, you know, some of them are catch and shoot. You know, I think our strength has been, you know, guarding the three in particular in pick and rolls. Um, but we, we haven't seen a ton of that in the last couple of nights. It's been more just one on one catch and shoot uh, in transition. You know, in those areas, I think uh, we have to clean up. But, you know, on the season in general, I think the, va the vast majority of those are pick and rolls. It seemed like tonight we saw a little bit more of uh, Kuz and Porzingis setting each other up. Uh, what are you seeing from them in, in terms of them building chemistry together? Well, I think it's going to take time, um, but I, li I like the two man tandem. Um, you know, those sometimes it's three man actions, but you're, you know, you're trying to put uh, a, a ball handler, playmaker involved. Uh, KP can mix pick and pops, rolls. Um, and then you know, whether it's uh, Pope or Kuz, you know, kind of single side tags, you know, those kind of. I mean, dimensions are, are, have been good for us. Neil. Hey, Coach. We've talked before about, you know, just helping the helper and the communication on defense. Guys have said, you know, they're not on a string, things like that. How much this season have you seen that as a recurring issue and the times that you guys have done well in that, would, would you say that's more of an abnormality or how do you kind of just find that consistency um, in that regard, that that is the big word is consistency, and it's um, on both ends. Just trying to find a level of consistency to sustain play. Um, I think it happens. There, there, there are times that there, there's confusion. Uh, sometimes we're changing defenses. You know, try to get the ball out of somebody's hand or put a uh, a little bit more pressure on somebody, and, and those changes aren't articulated amongst the group. So you have two or three guys maybe who, who are locked into what 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 has changed and. Maybe another two or three who, you know, haven't quite got it. So just that level of communication, I think, is the biggest uh, piece. Uh, and that's just something that we have to continue to work at. Thanks, Coach. Safe travels. Thank you. And last question is Shibata. Hello, Coach. Thank you for your time. Uh, I'd like to ask you about Rui Hachimura. Can you hear me? Uh, I'd like to ask you about the Rui Hachimura's performance, and uh, uh, I'm wondering if you have any uh, idea or intention of moving him into a starting lineup in the, in the near future. I think you know everything's on the table. Um, you know, I think I like him where he is right now, um, but as he progresses, um, you know, we'll see. I think he's done a lot of good things, and I know it's he missed a chunk of games early, so we were playing catch up, you know, in the meat of the season. But, uh, you know, where he is now from where he was, you know, a month and a half, two months ago, uh, it's like night and day. You know, different level of confidence. He's shooting the ball at a high clip. Um, he's got a pretty good feel for you know, how we play and how we space. Uh, so I just want to continue to see him grow. Okay. And, uh, and the hot news here in Tokyo is uh, you guys are coming to Tokyo next year, uh, next fall. So do you have anything to say to Japanese fans? Yeah, absolutely. I, th you know, I think we're very excited. Um, I think it's a great opportunity, um, not only to uh, represent, you know, our organization, our franchise, you know, represent the NBA, but uh, to do training camp and, and have the opportunity to do that in uh, in Japan is is incredible. You know, obviously, Rui's a big piece of that. Um, so it'll be my second trip personally uh, to Japan. So I, I'm looking forward to uh, the opportunity to learn a little bit more culturally, uh, immerse myself in the culinary side. Um, but also, we, we know we're there for a job. And, uh, you know, to do that in training camp, have the preseason games there against the Warriors, just a terrific opportunity for all. Wes said he saw some positives on the offensive end from you guys. How do you uh, evaluate your individual performance? Um, you're talking about individual performance? For, for me. I mean, just, just it's, it's all in my head, you know, like so. – Sometimes, um, you know, stretches like that happen, you know, um, just just don't feel like it, you know, but um, you got to push through. You got to push through. It's part of the business. You know, um, uh, it's, it's a long season. Uh, sometimes it can happen, but um, I just keep working. You know, I was here uh, shooting a night before, you know, the coach is do doing a great job of, of, of really giving me confidence and believing in me. And um some sometimes that's all you need and um 
I told myself, all right, then he's like, that's that, that what it is. Like, you got to keep going and um, just play hard, just compete. Like, I've done that for so long. So um, it feels good to uh, be back in uh, shape. Hopefully, uh, we can finish the season strong as a team, too. Did you feel like you were thinking about things less as you were out there? And if so, why might that have been the in case? In this game or? Yeah. I wasn't really thinking this game, you know, I was like, all right, like it's time to switch it up. It's time to make some plays for others. You know, uh, uh, Kuz got me in the game with a, with a nice layup and, and I feel like that that got me going. Um, again, it's it's all in my head because I've been doing it for so long. I know what I'm doing. You know, I'm here for a reason. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm getting better. And uh, and um, as I said, just 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 keep going. At a time whenever at a time when you feel like you're not playing your best, who do you turn to for support and to? Um, my my best psychologist is, is, is the gym, you know? Like, uh, that's what relaxes me. That's what my, brings me my uh, my calm and, and, and get me back on track. And um, it's something that I do and it helps me. Of course, I got my family and my my people around me that really helps me and like talk with me every day and and making sure I'm all right. And and as I said, the players, the coaches, they're all believing believing in me and and giving me confidence. And uh, sometimes for a young player, that's all you need. Given how much you want to play well for your team, uh, how difficult is it for for you just to not think on the court? If that makes sense. Um, can you repeat it? I'll try. Now, I need to not think when I ask the question. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we all know how badly you want to help the team. Yep. Uh, given how much you want to contribute, it, how tough is it not to be tough on yourself? Listen, it's hard. I'm, I'm coming from a culture that, that uh, uh, we're really tough on ourselves. You know, uh, I'm half Serbian. Um, and uh, let's say we, we play with a lot of emotions and uh, sometimes it gets to me. Sometimes I'm overthinking, sometimes I'm, sometime, uh, it happens and, and, and you know, you, you play bad and then you think to yourself, what did I do wrong? How do I improve it? And um, sometimes we just go out there and just play and, and play hard and, and not thinking too much because to play basketball, I know. That's, that's the main reason I'm, I'm here for a reason as well. And, and you know, being hard on myself, it's 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 still part of my growth as a player. And um, I'm I'm way better than what I was. So um, we're in a good we're in a good point. We're good, guys. Uh, I'll go to Chase on Zoom. Hey, Denny. Um, this was your 67th game this season. What's it just been like playing this many games? You know, obviously last year was shortened due to injury, but it looked like in the Euro League, you know, you never played anything close to this many games. So what's that just been like, that adjustment? For me, um, as much as that difficult and I had injuries and, and you know, I, I played through them. I, like, I was never, um, I was never like, okay, let me rest this. Like, all right, my leg a little hurt. Let me rest. Like, I never, I'm always, for my team, for, for everybody, for the organization, my goal is to play every single game. And, um, you know, uh, especially when last season I, I missed uh, the playoffs and a and, and couple of games towards the end of the season, I worked on my body a lot, worked on my body a lot for, for me to be durable for every game. And um, that's, that's a big, big goal of, uh, of myself is, is to be ready and to be there for the coaches, for the players whenever they need me. So. But is there like a mental adjustment, you know, just playing lots of, games more than you played before definitely definitely um you know it's it's not it's not easy mentally you know especially as a young player especially like coming from a season that you're not you never played that that uh that amount of games and and sometimes it hits me I'm I'm you know I'm human sometimes like you know we had that uh game against San Antonio with two overtimes we landed 3 a.m landed 4 a.m this it's not something I'm used to so then the like the, then the Cleveland game after like I, like I, I, I was feeling bad so you know, it's it's part of the NBA. It's part of the growth to, to know how to manage uh, your your how to take care of your body, how to manage your strength, and um, just uh, keep going. Do you feel like you've progressed in every game you've played? Mm. 
in in some areas for sure. Uh, it takes time to um, to get a feeling for everybody and and you know how we're playing. And a lot of times we do look a little bit random out there. You know, we're, we're we're getting stuck on some plays, and you know I'm still new to the team, so I'm you know learning on the go. Um, but uh, every game, I think it's you know it's progressing in the in the right direction. Um, and yeah, we have. I think the the things that we could take away are that, that we have really good moments. We're locking defensively. We're running. And we're, we're playing free. We're not you know thinking too much, and we're just playing instinctively. And I think that's when we're looking the best. So we had those moments. We just want to make those moments for as long as possible during the game. And I think then then it, then you know we will we will mesh mesh together much better, and it will look much smoother. We've asked Wes and a bunch of guys. Obviously, we've been here longer than you, but coming in from the outside, what do you see as the team's kind of biggest issues on defense? Um, I think um, if you if you aim to be a, a high level team and probably Kuz and, and Pope, you know, can speak on this uh, better. Uh, but, you know, you have to talk on defense. The communication has to be at the highest level um, and, and, and you have to clean up all the little details within. So make sure everybody's on the same page and everybody's doing the same thing and the rotations are correct. And there's going to be, you're going to mess up. You're, you're going to mess up, you know, it's going to happen. But to make sure that everybody's, um, that everybody's on the same page defensively and, and having clear, uh, clear, uh, um, just basically, just the defense is make sure everybody knows what we're doing, you know. And 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 once we have that in the communication at a high level, that's when you have to bring the intensity, energy every night, and make sure that the defense travels with you every game. How how does a team full of sometimes quiet guys get better at talking? Um, I don't know if we're we're quiet guys. I don't. I wouldn't say so. This team is pretty pretty. You know, everybody gets along really well off the court, which is very important. You know, and I think. Um, on the court too, nobody has, you know, this, this thing where you can't talk to him or can't tell somebody something, you know, um, and everybody's open, you know, if somebody messes up, they, you know, it's, we all looks like everybody's willing to take responsibility for, 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 you know, things that we mess up and, and that's important. Um, and, uh, yeah, open communication, not taking anything personally, just we want to get better as, as a group. And, you know, that takes, uh, accountability, you know, between each other and, and, uh, and yeah, we're, we're, we're getting started, but I believe we'll get there. Everyone slumps at one, at one point during a season. Denny went through one just the last few games. You don't know him well, but from what you've seen, how did he deal with it? Um, I think, I think well, I think he's a young player and, and you tend to overthink things and, and, and get in your own mind and get in your own way in, in, in you know, some situation. At the end, you have to simplify everything, um, put in the work, behind closed doors and then when you play play free play as, as as you know as free as you can just try to make the, the the correct play the right pass just keep it simple for yourself you know trust your your instincts and trust your uh, skill set um and then you know and then and then live with the result good or bad but but that way you 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 and then once it's over the game's over if you want to look at film and you know see things that you can do better do that but but you also have to disconnect your mind. You cannot be 24-7 on this on this game. Otherwise, you will just drive yourself crazy. You know, we already have enough games, enough film sessions, enough practices, you know. So um, I think, yeah, just for him, simplifying everything and and um, and just trying to play um, as free as he can, knowing that he can make mistakes out there. He's a young player. Good. Uh, a couple on Zoom here. Zach. Hey, KP. Um, the Wizards announced today that you guys will be playing in Japan this September. Uh, first of all, have you ever been to Japan and how much do you look forward to going there? Yeah, no, I've never been and I'm extremely excited. Uh, thanks to Rui, probably we're going there. Uh, so that, that I think that will be a really cool, cool experience. Um, Japanese culture is, is very strong and, and many things from them you know, are, are, are global. Um, so I think there will be many things that we'll be able to learn and 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 see that we've never seen before. So and and I've heard they're huge basketball fans also. So that will be really really cool. Do you have a favorite Japanese food? Uh, I mean, I love I love sushi. It obviously comes from Japan, but uh, to anything specific, I won't be able to tell you right now. But I just know that 
they're they're i love how like detail oriented they are you know that's that's one thing i love i love about their culture thank you thank you all right and last question to christos hey kb hope you're doing well uh what are the takeaways of of that road trip for for you can you repeat that please yeah what are the takeaways of that road trip in fourth, uh, road trip, yeah. fourth in games yeah. yes yeah um I think I think we had we had some good moments that we can take from this road trip. Even though you know we we um, we we took some tough losses, and there are definitely things that we can take away from that were good. That were good moments that we can build off of. Um, we're all it's a new group, especially for me. It's it's you know we're all new here, so uh, we're learning. And um, and obviously playing at on the road is tougher than playing at home uh, with your home crowd. So um, tough one. But it's it's the NBA. Uh, you go on road and you 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 it can go up or down and you can be close games and it, it can come down to few possessions and uh, and that's just that's just how it goes. So uh, learning lesson for us. Uh, I think if we can if we could play the, with the same intensity, same focus that we played today, even though uh, we didn't get the result, then then I think that's the correct way. And if we can bring that every game, uh, we'll be all right. And as one of the leaders of this group, how, what do you need to, what do you need to do to keep the positive vibe and keep uh, your your teammates together for the rest of the season? Um, I don't know. I don't know to keep the positive vibe. I'm, I'm, I would say I'm a pretty positive guy. Always, always myself. I, I try to, um, I try to try to just, you know, as, as soon as the game's over, it's over and. There's not much you can do about it. Um, I think everybody just come in the next day, smile on their face, work your butt off, work hard, um, and try to enjoy the process, and then on to the next one. And then once you know those all those pieces come together, uh, the result will come. I always I keep repeating the same thing, but it's it's how I look at it, and um, and I think yeah. Uh, but it, it's a major major key to keep a positive mindset throughout, you know, throughout the ups and downs of an NBA season.